try and show all the different aspects of the architecture on the campus around Wycliffe here because it's developed gradually over 100 years or so and there are many interesting buildings. I wanted to combine them in a way that scrambled their mind and changed their attitude towards seeing the buildings which are everyday familiar things they walk past. So by turning them at different angles and combining them and superimposing them and making them float, people say, why have you done it this way? What part does that belong to? I've not seen that before. And it hopefully will gradually change people's attitude towards seeing the environment around them. I had to go and make drawings that were researching in depth some of the key aspects of the place and I did those outside uh, and they're all, all on show in the atrium and then I used the drawings as my kind of touchstone in a way to, to work with the mural. They were stuck on the scaffolding, they were on the floor, they're really working drawings and people said have you done your design for this? I said no I don't have a design because I got to respond to it as we go. So the drawings were the design in a sense and then it happened openly and I could surprise myself. I suppose in, in image wise it's quite similar to some of the other stuff that you've done in the past. Do you see like this in reality? Um, <laughs> it's interesting because um, common sense is the enemy of creativity. And so, although I've had to have a lot of common sense not to fall off a scaffolding and to put the scaffolding up, I've then had to kind of get rid of all the common sense to try and work the magic and surprise myself and make a picture that scrambles people's minds. So I try to see it this way to make it different. Um, obviously, doing, doing something like this, you can be afraid of heights. Yeah, just... Um, uh, should we say wary? It takes a bit of getting used to at first, but then you know once you once you're in the flow of it. Um, the funny aspect of that is everything you try and do takes four times the time because you've got to move um, a scaffold with its wheels, put the brakes on. It's got stabilisers on it. You've got to set. You've got to climb back up with the colours. Look at, look at where you are. Climb back down. <laughs> assess it. So everything takes so much more effort and time. I guess you've been doing this while the college has been open, so what's the feedback that you've been getting as it's been a work in progress? Yeah, it's been great that students have been able, and staff have been able to see it developing, and I think it's opened a lot of people's eyes to you know, the creative process. Um, and it's, I think it's been the talk of the college in the sense that students have gradually become more and more excited as they've seen it develop um, and take shape, especially when the colour came in um, to play very much in the sort of last stages. And um, have you got uh, any more of these uh, in, in the running? Anything else? Well, we the next projects are um, to go and paint two people's portraits and, um, and to work with a blacksmith, who in fact is a lady blacksmith. Okay. Anything else? Thanks. Thanks, John. Great questions. <laughs> I made them up on the spot. Can you tell?